Hey guys, gals, and Loretta Lynn lovers. This is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. We're coming at you from <laughs> Van Leer, Kentucky, home of... Loretta Lynn. And the famous Butcher Holler. So yes. We're getting excited about to get on the road here. I hear chicken in the background. You hear that? Oh, yeah. So this is a, the real deal. This is the real, authentic, authentic. Appalachian deal. Yes. So let's get on the road. We'll show you what else we can find. All right, we're going to give you a side look here. We passed the front on the road already, but this is now the... Van Leer Historical Society and the Coal Miners Museum and we learned that back in the old days the front of it was actually the Van Leer post office, the back was the jail, the upstairs was a doctor's and dentist's office and there's actually the little door there from the jail that you can still see which I love that kind of thing it's so cool. Yeah, I do too. Look at that toilet. I don't think I'd want to spend any time in here, would you? No. I'm not sure that Otis would have liked this either, so. <laughs> it's not a sale fit for jail, Otis. Really, yeah. yeah, it is. It's awesome. Wow. I'm glad to see this. Me too. Walk around and see what else we can see. So it used to be the post office. And jail. And also, yeah, post office of jail. And it's shows that the Miller Creek Division of Consolidation Coal Company and is established circa 1913. Okay, yeah. It used to be their headquarters. We saw that quite a bit. It used to have all those headquarters and all that stuff. You usually saw a company store with it, so I don't know. It doesn't say anything about that, but sometimes they're separate. If you act it up in the post office or the doctor's office, they'd throw you in jail. Be close, close moving. Take a look at that. It doesn't appear to be open today, unfortunately. Yeah, I hate that we missed that. Let's check, check it out. Maybe next trip. Maybe next trip. We have some tributes to the miners. Okay, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that little look. Alrighty, we are here at front of the Van Leer Post Office and the, also the Van Leer Coal Museum. Historical Society, I guess, up here to the left. Mm -hmm. Driving into whose place? Loretta Lynn's old home place. Miss Loretta, better known as Butcher Holler. Yes. How excited are you about this one? I'm very excited. This is my first time here. Turn right onto Miller Creek Road, Miller's Creek Road. Well, we got And you just turn right. right on Miller Creek Road. Yeah. <laughs> There's Possum Holler. Very cool. Well, that's an authentic name, isn't it? It is. So hopefully, if all goes as planned, we will end up at, well, of course, Butcher Holler, but first stop will be Webb's Grocery, which is yes. down here. And unfortunately, her brother, who used to run that store, just passed away a couple of years ago. Mm. And uh, But the store is still open and doing business, from what I understand, so. It's pretty out through here, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's pretty rural. You get off Route 23, which is what the Country Music Highway, mm -hmm. and you go off and take one turn, then another, then another. Next thing you know, it's, it's further and further out in the boonies. And yeah, you are out in the middle of nowhere. About what you expect. Kind of, it's about as authentic as you could ever hope to find. It's a very cool train car. Yeah. And this must be the old school back there. Mm -hmm. It said Schoolhouse Road. Oh, really? We'll have to go back there and Yeah. What I thought earlier was the old school was actually the gym for the high school. Still in great shape and looks like it's a Masonic temple now. Yeah, yeah, very beautiful building. Yeah, look at the stone. And the stone was all hand chiseled from what we were told also. Yeah, fantastic. Beautiful. I'm glad to see it repurposed because a lot of Me things too. are abandoned and not in any good shape or he, they're not even standing half the time. So. Yeah, exactly. It's a nice building in there. That's, it that's is. Really really Those arched windows. I'm glad they saw to, like I said, to keep this. Isn't it? Yeah. This is great. 
a lot of detail and effort went into it. Can you imagine it what it cost to build something like that? Oh thing? my gosh. Beautiful though. Okay, I guess we see now we can we'll take a look at it. Here, like I said, it looks like it's used by the Mason Lodge now. And yeah. We don't want to cross the Masons, do we? No. <laughs> we make peace with the Masons. Van Leer Fire Department, and then, of course, you, if you remember, Lord Lynn makes reference to the Van Leer coal mines in the song Coal Miner's Daughter. Mm hmm. Oh, it's really pretty out here. Yes, there's Music Branch. I wonder if that's a reference to her for somebody's last name. <laughs> Just never know, do you? A lot of music's from where I'm from. Except they put a K at the end. These are like old yeah. coal camp houses right here. You can just tell by looking. It's the same row house, same floor plan on each one of them. This may be, there's a little bit more spread out, so probably, I'm just guessing. I don't know if I'm talking off the top of my head, but I've been to so many of these. It looks like that may be the boss's houses. Yeah. Makes sense. They always got it taken pretty good care of. I want to understand Van Leer was a pretty good operation too. Wolf Pen Branch. It's another authentic name. Yeah. Can't beat that, can you? You can tell the locals are more used to the road because they come flying through. Yeah. <laughs> Baptist Church. I wonder how many people that they get to come out and take the tour a year, an average. I don't know. The last time I was here, I was the only person. And it was actually Lori Lynn's niece that did the tour, which is great. Yeah, uh, it is. And I was the only person, but I would say several a day especially on a pretty day like today. It's been closed for COVID for a while, and I think a lot of people aren't aware that it's opened back up here very recently, like probably last month. Yeah. And, uh, Campagata. It's got a nice Italian flair to it. Campagata. Yeah, there you go. It's probably much more like the authentic <laughs> pronunciation. We're getting close. We're about a little bit over half a mile away from Webb's groceries. So it feels like you're already in a hauler, but then there's all kinds of haulers that branch off from it too. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah. cool. This is a nicely paved hauler if there's one. Well, yeah, that that is true, but considering it's leading to butcher haulers, yes. I can see why. It's the ultimate hauler. A hauler within a hauler. That's right. Sounds like a good book title, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> There's an old school bus. So, of course, I mentioned Lori Lynn and Crystal Gale was her sister. And she lived here for a while, too, as well. Mm -hmm. So, I don't want you to short sell her. Right. Oof. I'm not as familiar with her as I am, Lori, I gotta say. She was a little more poppy, she was more flashy. She had the super long hair, like she never cut it. It went to down to the floor. Oh wow! Yeah, she was a pretty big deal back in the seventies and eighties, but she kind of just, I think, wasn't all that interested. If I'm not mistaken, this is Webb's Grocery right here. So, Loretta Lynn Home Place yep. tourist information. I saw the sign there. Well, here we are, hot diggity dog. A little homemade sign there that said Loretta Lynn's Home Place too. All right, this is very neat. Let's go inside and check it out. What yes, let's give them a better look. So this is the poor home place of Lord Land and Crystal Gale. Stop at Webb's, ask for Herman. Unfortunately, Herman passed away a couple years ago, as we were talking about, but it's a authentic old store here. And we'll go in and check it out here in a few minutes. Yeah. Webb's Grocery. Store. Herman Webb established in 1976. We'll go in here and take a look around.
Okay, we're back on the road here, heading into Butcher Holler, and we both got moon pies. I got an orange crush. I got caramel. It's delicious. Is it? Mm -hmm. I, got, I got banana. It's my favorite. But we are about to head into Lord of Lane country here. Well, I guess we're in Lord of Lane country, aren't we? We are in Lord of Lane country. Well, like I said before, we're, I'm excited to see this. It's been shut down for a while. We've been meaning to come ever since we started the channel, but mm -hmm. I've been keeping a watchful eye on for when it to open up. Yes. So we just left Webb's Grocery, which is some fine people in there. Yes. Good talking, very cool to see the memorabilia on the walls and that kind of thing. Oh yeah, coal mining uh, and of course Lloyd Lynn's career. Mm -hmm. Just a, you get a good vibe as soon as you get this area, don't you? Just good people, friendly, open. Mm -hmm. Well this could have been very easy to miss. The old entrance to the mine. You can see Consol Mine right here and it's covered up now for safety reasons of course. And it'd be very easy to miss it if you don't know what you're looking for. <clears throat> it's like a great place for a snake, doesn't it? Oh, it is. I haven't seen one this year, so. The cool little rock walkway. Yeah. There's an entrance right now. Of course, it's sealed off because they don't want you to go in there and risk injury, of course. All kinds of dangers inside these old mines, but it's really cool to see where the Van Leer mine was. Full experience, full mouth of moon pie. That's right. I gotta catch <laughs> up with you. You gotta, you're about to, you're about to wolf that thing down on me here. <laughs> I think my favorite is still the chocolate, though. They're just original. Yeah, I know. Especially, though, if you get one of them, you got to get RC with it, too, just to have that whole Tracy Bird experience. But the good old RC Cola in the moon pie. Mm-hmm. I'm see a RC. sucker when I see a different kind, though. I'm going to try it. I don't think I'd seen caramel before. I'm the exact same way. I saw a lemon one the other day, and I didn't have money to get it. Hmm. Oh, here's the, if I'm not mistaken, this is the famed rock right up here. There it is. And we'll jump out and give you a closer look at that too. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, and here's the famous Butcher Hollow Rock that shows you how to get in there. It's got little music notes on it. I hope you can see that. Yes. Looks like the O's wore off a little bit. Yeah. There's Might need also. touched up. Yeah. If I had my paint, I'd come out here and fix it for them, but I guess I'll <laughs> leave that to the locals. This is the little road leading down to Butcher Holler. We're not very far away at all from the house from here. It's pretty handy that they show you that though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Alright, let's get back in the car and head on down the road. Just passed up the rock. Past the rock and we should be, if my calculations are right, seeing her home place here very shortly. In the meantime, more moon pie, right? More moon pie. city and don't come home a drinking with loving on your mind like I'm doing. 
That is that. That's up there. That's right up there. Yeah. Some of that. That mine. and coal miner's otter. I love both of those. Yeah. Something about brawling women makes me happy. Yeah. <laughs> right there, I can see that about you, Shane. Yeah. Don't want to go to Fifth City. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Some people call me an old building. We'll get a yeah. little bit of shot of the front here. All right, we're going to take a look inside the home place of Loretta Lynn here. We're in progress in front of us. Yes. They had beautiful land, huh? It reminds me of some of my family's houses. Going to visit. A little well right here. Hmm. A little well there. Right there. Oh yeah. We got Loretta's music playing. Yep. Old tub. Look at these old windows. Love it. You can tour for the low, low price of five bucks per person. Oh, yeah. Can't beat that deal. Yeah. <laughs> Been looking and I've seen a few signatures from this year. Oh, no. It wasn't while I was here, I'm glad to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and it was just something my dad wasn't able to control. Right. He he said he'd turn his back and, and somebody be signed. And yeah. It just got out of the hand. So I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure he just kind of gave up. I think it's ceilings and everything. Yeah, 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 it's pitiful. <laughs> but you got to think too, it was wartime when they were growing up. Yeah. So they listened to the news before they listened to the office. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that is the swing that they used on the front porch. Oh, awesome. And the reason it's still in one piece, when they left here, Dad took it off the porch and stuck it upstairs in a closet. He said, I was afraid it'd get stolen. Yeah, it probably what? would have. I'll take some pictures too. I know you got the good camera, but... Let me block it for you so you can... Sorry. Yeah. It's so neat. Yeah, I got one. The original radio. That is so neat. It feels so cool to be staying in here where they all come to listen. You know, I said it, it kind of blows my mind. Because, you know, if you went to Thomas Jefferson's mansion, right, you would expect to see the original furniture. Oh, right, yeah. But here, yeah. you know, because nobody knew what Loretta was going to do. Right. You know, Absolutely. and so it just, it's amazing to me that dad was able to, like he said, this stayed here. It's yeah. been here. Uh, and that swing's been here the whole time. Right. But a lot of the other stuff he had to barter with family members <laughs> to get it. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. Now you see this old guitar here? Dad said that's probably the first guitar Loretta ever played on. Oh, wow. And please note that's I said cool. played on, not played. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I had my uncle, he lived up a holler that we had to walk up every spring when it washed out. And yeah, <laughs> well, I can relate. <laughs> now, I that picture relate. right there is of her mansion down in Tennessee. Oh, wow. And uh, she doesn't actually live in that house now. She yeah. built another house behind it when Doolittle got sick. Right? Oh, my gosh, I love this kitchen. Now, both these cabinets were my grandma's. I try to point out things that were original. This was my grandma's mm -hmm. butter churn. That is so cute. This was my grandma's cook stove. Yes. And grandma used to make her lye soap and render her lard in these tubs right here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you all something right now. This was not my grandfather's still. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or at least that's what my dad told me. Yeah. But it gives a good segue here to this uh, picture. Yeah. If you remember in the movie, there was a moonshiner who tried to recruit Doolittle into selling right. his moonshine. All right. His name was Lee Dollarhide. He was a cousin of ours. Okay. Uh, this is Lee Dollarhide right here. Oh, wow. And Dad said the way they depicted that in the movie was yeah. exactly the way he remembered it, too. Wow. The line in the movie that Lee is famous for was it's either coal mining, moonshining, or heading on down the line. Yeah. That's what he had said to do because yeah. that was the only way to make a living back here. Then. Exactly. Oh. Uh oh. Goodness, I'm so sorry. I'm so excited. There's so much to look at in no, here. Just... That is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> this was the dining room. Yeah. Now the only furniture that would have been in here would have been the table and maybe a sideboard. So this is the original table? This is my grandma's oh, dining wow. room table. Man, that um, is gorgeous too. Yeah, now it's missing a couple of leaves. Yeah. It would have filled this whole room. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's the first thing I saw when I, I saw know. those feet. I said, that's I, said I thought my grandparents were poor. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. That's a nice table. Yeah. But I found out they bought it second hand. Really? Yeah, it was used. Now, it had a matching hutch too. Yeah. But the hutch was too tall to fit in here. Oh, no. But uh, if you'll notice, it does have an electric motor now, but yeah. electricity did finally come up through here in the late 40s, Yeah. early 50s. And one of Dad's uncles put that electric motor on it at that time. Dad said, they everybody had beds in their front room. Yeah. Because oh, he yeah. said, you know, they didn't have electricity, so they yeah. didn't have a need to have a place for people to gather. He said yeah. they more or less used this as a guest bedroom. Yeah. You know. This furniture is original. Now this was my grandma's sewing machine. Okay. She sewed many a feed sack no, no, into a dress. Just like that. Same for Loretta. Loretta. <laughs> she did exactly like that. This record player actually belonged to Loretta's grandpa. Oh my god. Somebody gosh. in the family wow. gave it to dad about twelve years ago and dad had it refurbished so it does work. Oh my goodness. That my is family so takes awesome. so many things. It's important. Like you said, it's it a is miracle. weird. That is so the rocking chair in that room in there belonged to Loretta's grandma. <laughs> Now this door right here goes upstairs, and there's two attic-style bedrooms up there. Wow! Dad said the boys would sleep in one room, the girls would sleep in the other until it got really cold in the winter time. Right. He said then you'd see three and four beds in each one of these rooms right here, because yes. right there's your source of heat. Yeah. That's a coal burning fireplace. If you notice, it's not as deep and wide as a wood burning fireplace. Okay. Because coal burns hotter and longer. Right. Yeah. Um, and you know, I was thinking one day when I was telling this, boys in one room, girls in the other, and it hit me. Yeah. Loretta was the only girl for the first five kids. Right. You know, my Uncle Junior, then Loretta, mm -hmm. then my dad, Herman, then my Uncle Jay Lee, and then my Uncle Don. I said, so did she have her own room up there? Yeah. <laughs> and no wonder she was daddy's girl. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I said, no wonder she could stand up to do. Yeah. Because she grew up fighting four boys. brothers. Yeah. Mom, <laughs> you know, Mama's seriously. Yeah. yeah. No wonder. It all Grew makes sense. Boys. Things have to make sense to me. <laughs> but I did learn something different because, you know, they did not film the movie here. They filmed the movie over in Letcher County. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, they built a replica of this house and used it in the movie. Well, when the movie company finished with it, Loretta and Dew had that replica taken to her ranch in Tennessee. Oh, cool. oh wow. So you can tour that house there. That's so neat. Well, I had some people that had just toured that house yeah. come here. And they quickly corrected me when I said, Loretta had her own room. <laughs> <laughs> I was just joking, but anyway. Yeah. They said the way Loretta has grandma and grandpa's bedroom set up is there's an extra bed in there. Yeah. And my Aunt Betty had verified this. She had told me that once before, that they always kept a little single size bed in there. Yeah. And they tell down there that that's where Loretta slept. That makes sense. Yeah. And to help Grandma with the babies. Yeah. You know, she was yeah. the biggest girl. And I said, I knew Grandma wouldn't put Loretta upstairs with four brothers. Yeah. <laughs> and by, by herself, really. by, Yeah. 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 So I said, that makes perfect sense. I believe that. That that happened that way. Yeah. You know. Now, I always point this picture out here. You, got, you might have heard me tell the other couple some of this stuff. Um, that's my Grandma. That's my Grandpa. And that little girl right there. And that, and that picture right there, the baby, that's Crystal Gale. Okay. A lot of people do not associate Crystal with Butcher Hall. Yeah. But this is her home place, too. Right. She, she lived here for a while, didn't she? She lived here, she was about four or five years old when they left here. Okay. And moved to Indiana. 
shopping. This picture shows all eight of the kids. That's my grandma, and that's my step grandfather. My grandmother remarried after my grandpa died, but that right there is my dad. Okay. And oh, he's um, a man. He was a good, very good looking man. Yeah. And a lot of people want to know if they were all musical. I said the only one I've never heard sing was my Aunt Betty. Yeah. A little tidbit of information. The movie company sent them all releases to sign yeah. so they could use their names in the movie yeah. and they paid them a dollar. Oh, Which my dad's still waiting on his dollar. <laughs> yeah. But my Aunt Betty, she says, I'm not signing it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm holding out for more money. But yeah. <laughs> you know how. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this look at Butcher Holler, the home of. Or at Atlanta. Atlanta. And I, I think that went well, don't you? Oh my god. <laughs> that's the wrong word. Such a dad joke. Such a dad joke. That's a little creepy <laughs> thing up in the. Hope you can see that up there in the top window. Yes. Somebody watching out. <laughs> okay, guys. It was a great little tour. It was. And appreciate Herma Lee. Yes, she did a great job. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, share it, comment, and definitely subscribe. Amen. We'll see you guys on down the road here. Thank you.